Hey everybody, welcome to a Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time, so make sure that you click that bell icon because that will tell you when I post a new video. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the heartbeat designs. These are so easy and so much fun. So first thing you're going to do is start with a new blank canvas and we're going to go to Google and all we're going to do is just type in heartbeat and it helps if you spell it right. <laughs> oh my goodness today my typing oh goodness gracious. Okay <laughs> now that we can type today and we're going to go right to images and all we need to do is just find a plain old line that we like. So I think this one looks pretty good. It's nothing too fancy or crazy. So all you're going to do is right click on it, save image as, and I'm just going to save mine as beat in my Cricut folder. Just makes it easier for me to find. So we're just going to go to our uploads. I'm going to get rid of this since we don't need it. And we're going to upload an image and we're going to click browse and we're going to go to our Cricut folder. And all you have to do now is find the heartbeat that you saved. So this is a pretty simple image. We're going to click simple and you'll notice that it got rid of all of that checkerboard in the background. And that's really good because it'll make it easier to clean up. Because all you have to do now is get rid of the gray, which you just click the top and the bottom and you'll see that now you have a blue checkerboard. Go ahead and click continue and you're going to want to save this as the cut image, which is on your right side. Click save. And then you're going to want to put whatever you are passionate about or whatever image you want, like how this heart is here in the center. We're just going to choose something. And I cannot, I don't know what is with this computer today. Um, so we're just going to go with um, a dog. We're going to do a dog silhouette. I really like dogs. I think they're cute and fun. And who doesn't love a dog? So we're just going to go and look for one that we like. And if we don't see anything this way, you can also just look for dog outline because I think with the heartbeats, the outlines look really, really nice. So I'm going to do a, a dog outline and see what I find. I think some of these are a little bit more what I was looking for. So just find one that you like and it can be any style. So if you have a specific type of dog or if you just like the style of one of them, you can easily just choose whatever you like. And don't worry if it is the opposite direction that you might want it to face because we can flip that. I'm going to go ahead and do this dachshund. I think he's awfully cute. Um, he's a little bit blurry, so let me see if I can find a better one. Um, you could even do just a paw print if you wanted to. Just trying to find one that is this one. I actually like this one a lot. So let's do this one. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Save the image as. I'm just going to save him as dog. We'll go back to Cricut Design Space and we're going to upload an image, which is right here. Browse. Find your dog or whatever design you want. So here's my dog. Click simple again. It just makes it easier with these ones because they're just little outlines. And all you're going to do is get rid of the gray. So all you've left is this outline. Go ahead and click continue. Save him as a cut image and save. Cut image will always be on your right hand side. And you can tell because it's a save as cut image here or save as print then cut over here. You, if you're going to cut it out of vinyl, you do want to do it on this side. Um, every once in a while, you'll notice that design space is a little bit slow and that's okay. So we want to insert both of these images. You can do this one of two ways. You can insert them independently or you can click one image, click control on your keyboard, click the second image and just click insert. So you'll see now that we have these two images and I'm going to make them much bigger so that you guys can see this a lot better. And all we're going to do is combine them. So wherever you want your heartbeat to sit. So I think for him, we'll do it at his little feeties because I think coming out of here, it looks a little bit awkward. So let's have it come out of his foot. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate the heartbeat image. And I'm actually going to go ahead and flip this one because I want it to be a little bit opposite. So all you have to do to flip an image is come up here to the top, flip it, and then flip it horizontal. And you'll see that it's going the opposite direction. So you can put either or in the front, whichever one you want. And I'm going to go ahead and make these. Oh, I'm going to move this dog out of the way here really quick. And we're going to go ahead and put this one over here. And then we want to move this one out of the way. Oops. And we're going to take the dog and line him up where we want him. I'm move this down a little bit so you guys can see better. So like I said, we want it coming out of his little feet. So we're going to go ahead and do it this way. 
And then you can resize just these if you want to, if you want them a little bit smaller. I think they're a little bit too big for the dog at this point. And then you'll just move them. You can select two things. I should have told you this, but you can select two things the same way you selected your images to insert them. Click one image, hit control on your keyboard and hit the other image. And then you can just size them at the same time. And then we're gonna size our dog down a little bit so that he fits just a little bit better in our heartbeat. And you guys can play around with these and do whatever you want to them. Um, it's, you know, it's up to you however you want them. So we're going to select the entire image. You can do this by one of two ways. Well, one of three ways, really. You can click each image and hold control like this. You can come over to your layers tab and hold control and click each image. Or you can hold down your left mouse button and draw a square. And that'll select everything. And we want to weld our image. What that does is it makes it one piece so that when it cuts, it's not going to cut little lines out where his little feet are attached to the heartbeats. And now you can just size it to whatever size you want to make it for whatever you're putting it on. Like I said, you guys can be super creative with these. It's, it's a lot of fun and it's really, really easy to do once you get the images that you want. So you can do these for just about every passion you may have. Disney, if it's a specific hobby like running or if you just want to put a pretty heart or maybe your occupation. And then you can cut these out in vinyl, put them on your car, put them on a hat, whatever you want. You can do these in HTV, which is really fun to put on a shirt or a bag. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I always love to learn more about you. So what are you guys passionate about? What is your heartbeat? For me, my passion is animals, obviously. I foster cats and I love it. I have four cats of my own, a dog and a guinea pig. So we have quite a full house. But yeah, let me know what you guys are passionate about. I love to get to know you guys. If you have any questions about any other tutorials or you want to see any other, another tutorial, put that in the comments below as well. I always love making you guys tutorials and helping you learn how to work with your Cricut. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning how to do this. Have a great day.